see that will stand up straight. This is one I did earlier, and it's dried. I recommend only coloring it when you've it's totally hardened because if you try to pick it up and do all your dusting and painting and everything while it's still a little bit wet, you're going to distort the the shape and the figure of it. Okay, so what I'm using here is a dark charcoal. Okay, and I actually don't want that much. I just want a little tad. And I'm also using the color cinnamon, which is like a darker brown. It's not too brown, but it's a dark enough brown. Okay, so these are going to be the only three colors I'm going to be using. This I'm just going to mix up really quick. I don't know if you can see me doing this. But the black with the cinnamon, because it's going to go around the band. That's what's going to color that in, because that's going to be a little bit darker than the rest of the bucket. And I don't need that much. A little really does go a long way here. I'm going to put this off to the side until we're ready for it. Okay. Now in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a very small, small brush and take the darker brown, which is the cinnamon, and I'm going to put some here. And I'm going to go through with a fine brush with a darker color and I'm going to go in these holes here. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect because when you go over it with the next color, you're going to see this stuff just pop out. It's going to be really in your face and you're going to see it very well. So I'm just going to fill in the holes first because for me that's just easier. And you want to just get in there with it. And you could do this dry or wet, wet being with the vodka or the extracts, mixing it in a paint. I think I've seen somebody do that before and it comes out really, really nice. It looks really pretty and it stands out even more but we're just going to do it this way for now. Then I'm going to come back in here and the smaller, thinner brush you have, the better for this because you're going to try to get into these little spots here like this. And you're going to outline each plank as you can see I'm doing here. Okay? And if some of it happens to run off the track, so to speak, and not be so perfect, that's okay because we're going to go over with the lighter shade brown after this and it's going to kind of blend it all in together. So, just for the sake of the video and what we're doing, I'm going to just do this really quickly. And you can see there's a, a dark spot where I went off the tracks on purpose because I want to go back and show you that it's not a big deal. Okay, but for now, I'm just going to highlight these plank separations and just kind of give them that depth. So, there's one more here, and I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. So now what I want to do is kind of come through the top and highlight these just a little bit. You know, bring out where we cut, just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. So it's just not a mooted point. You want it to kind of be that look of something you might see in a cartoon. And I think it comes out a lot cuter this way when you do give it the personality. It may, really makes it stand out. Now, I don't have the thinnest brush in the world. If you had a smaller brush, you could probably do a lot better job. But this is okay for now. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to take a wider brush with the lighter brown color. It has to be a little bit lighter to, to get this effect. And I'm going to go through the top just like this. Okay, you can see I'm painting it. And if it gets on the band, don't worry about it because we're going to be going over with that darker color we made just a little bit ago. Okay, let me show you here. I'll do the center. And there's no right or wrong way because it's wood. You know, you can go up, down, side, side. You can mismatch it and just whatever makes you happy will work just fine. And just go through and make sure you cover the white. You don't want any of the white really standing out because then that will defeat the purpose of this bucket. You can do the inside as well, which I prefer to do, but I'm not going to do it in this video. You can use your imagination and figure out how that will look later. I'll show you the... Well, I did show you the finished piece first, but I'll show it to you again afterwards of it being colored on the inside as well as the outside. 
but I'm just trying to give you an idea of how I do this. This is my way. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it or an easier way or a more professional looking way, but this is just a really quick and easy way of doing it and it it's really effective. People will compliment you and think that you went to school for this stuff and in fact you didn't. You just learned it here on YouTube. Okay, so now we got that pretty much covered. Okay. And I'm going to go over to my black. It's not black. It's that brown color we mixed up. And I'm going to go over the binds, bounds, whatever they're called. The things that hold these things together. It's like a bracket or something. And this is, again, mixed charcoal with some of the brown. So it's a little bit dark, but that's the color of these things. And you want to kind of really do a good job when you color this up. I probably should have mixed this in something a little more stable so it's not flying all over my counter. But you get the idea. Okay? When you do this, make sure when you color it you get the top of the band. Okay? And you also want to get underneath the band. You don't want the white spots really poking through too much. So let me just start on this bottom part. And we'll do this a little, just so you can get the idea. I don't like leaving things unfinished, just because if I do, I'll never get back to them again, and they'll sit there forever, half finished. And if you're going to do it, you might as well do it. Okay, so this could be a little bit darker, and I'm not going to worry about it. I think even if you took this part and did it in the the wet form, I think it would look really nice. But for the sake of the video, we're just going to do it this way for now. Now, there was a dark spot on here earlier. Maybe it's down here, I don't know. But you can see I'm taking that light brown and just going over it again, and it's blending that color, so you're not even going to see it. And that's why it's okay to kind of goof off a little bit and go off the track, so to speak. That's what my niece always says. She always says, oh, you went off the tracks, and it's really cute, but anyway, I just want to show you how to do a really quick apple or orchard bucket or whatever. You might want to use gloves because you can see my hands got totally dirty, and that's why when we started off, the fondant or gum paste had a little color to it, but here's the finished piece, okay, and you can see here, I got the, the bands, and the inside I went ahead and colored, and it looks really nice. It's really cute. And I really, really like it. And again, it's a hard as a rock. You know, you could put apples in there, you could put pears, whatever you want to put in there is fine. So anyway, that's our little video on how to do a little apple or orchard bucket. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to, you know, just put them right down there. I always like hearing from you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.